Hey guys, once again, uh, just wanted to do another unboxing. So, this is Salvira Bless from uh, Valkyrie Chronicles, which is a video game, I think, on the PS2, if I remember correctly. I played it on uh, the PC when it finally got ported, but uh, this figure's from Vertex, and it's a 1 7th scale. And uh, I, there's a few figures of this character. I have her and I forgot the other girl's name, but they're the Christmas versions of them. And I really do like those figures. Um, and I think this is the second run of this very specific figure uh, that they've done. So this is, a, I guess, the second edition of this figure. And I thought I'd pick it up while it's still out. Let's go ahead and get it open. <clears throat> so I don't know how many figures I have from Vertex. I'm trying to think. I'm sure I have a few. But the photos of the original run of this figure were really beautiful. So I'm hoping that this figure is still beautiful in the second run. Let's see. Let's take a look at the base first. See, you know, that was a struggle. Uh, they even have it taped up. This company, I will forever know them for their tough boxes to open. That's what they will be known for. All right. So here's the base, just with the name of the character and then the pattern around it. Nice color to it. Put that off to the side. To the figure. So first we have her rapier here, which I don't think actually yeah, does doesn't actually come out of the uh, hilt. It's just the whole thing. So that will just go on her side. Pretty straightforward. There she is. So it's a one scale, so uh, one seventh scale, standing at a little over ten inches, about ten inches, what I would call it, uh, and honestly, very good quality. Let's see if we can get better zoom. Let me see if I can focus it. There we go. It's a lot better. Honestly, really nice quality. I like that they've chosen a gloss on her tights here. Very cool looking tights. And there's actually cutouts here. And then the, uh, just honestly, very nice figure. Uh, sorry, I changed the lighting slightly. Just trying to focus for you guys. There we go. Love all the little details. They did a very good job. Even though it's a smaller scale figure, they put a lot of love into this one. So it's definitely worth picking up already, I can tell you guys that. Really nice etching done on all of these little bits and ends here. The cuffs, the brooch. Very well done. All right, and then now we'll show you the other version without the skirt. The skirt has a nice, did a good job with the folds in it. Looks really good. So there, now you can see the full leggings in her undies, of course. You can kind of see it behind her hair. Really nice job with the hair too. The individual strands, nicely sculpted. 
Everything's of a really nice quality with this figure. I don't really remember the price on it, but uh, honestly, seems to be worth whatever it was. <laughs> Even though I don't remember what it was exactly. And I am glad that they did a second run of this. See if we can get it on the base. Her uh, other shoe isn't fitting exactly in there, but it, no, it fits overall. Honestly, the cheapest part of this figure is the base. And it's not, it's not too bad, but just this being plastic and all these little joints and stuff, it's not great. So, so there it is. Very beautiful. Honestly worth it. Let's see if we can get the, uh... There we go. So, sorry for having this here. Should have removed this. Would have looked better. It's too late now. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for joining me for this unboxing. This figure is awesome. Definitely one of my most favorite ones from the, uh, December collection. Even though, uh... Ellie's in there from the School Idol Festival collection, and we all know the quality of those figures. They're amazing. So, see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Becoming a patron with Otaku Reviews now has many benefits. Tier 1, starting at just a dollar, will get you uncensored content, the super crappy unboxing of boxes, and behind-the-scenes Patreon-only posts as well as an automatic entry to win the official Splatoon 2 plushie. Tier 2, starting at $2, will get you all of the stuff in Tier 1, except you will be entered to win the Nendroid May from Overwatch instead of the plushie. So, if you would like to win one of these goodies, please donate at that tier. And once we get 100 patrons, I will be adding new prizes from Kotobokiya, Skytube, Native, Rocket Boy, and more.